breaking news. Scientists have developed a blood test that can help doctors give people living with metastatic breast cancer the right treatment without the need for a biopsy. Wow. I'm Dr. Liz O'Riordan. I'm a breast cancer surgeon and patient, and I'm going to tell you what this means for you. But first, let me explain what metastatic breast cancer means. It's when breast cancer starts to grow in other places like your liver, your bones and your lungs. And it's also called recurrent or stage four disease. Now it can happen up to 20 years after your breast cancer was first treated. And we still don't know exactly why it happens. But if you want to know more, you can check out this video. But back to stage four breast cancer. When it does happen, the cancer cells continue to mutate and change as they grow. They can develop resistance to the drugs doctors give you, so we need to find another treatment. But we also know that one of the changes that can happen is that breast cancers can change their receptors. So what's a receptor? Well, there are three that we test for, ER, PR and HER2. Every breast cancer can either produce far too many of one, two or three of them, or none at all. And it's how we describe your breast cancer, ER positive or triple negative, for example. But cancer cells don't obey by the rules. They can change what receptors they have. And this happens in about one in five patients. An apple that is ER positive with this yellow receptor can become an orange that is HER2 positive with this fork. And the only way to tell if this has happened is with a biopsy. Now this is when we take a sample of the tissue to look at it under the microscope. Now when the cancer is in your breast, it's relatively quick and easy to do, although it can still hurt. But if you've got cancer in your lungs, your liver, your bones or your brain, it's a whole different story. It's harder to do, there are more complications, it's not nice or it just might not be possible. It can also take several weeks to organise and it depends on how well you are. If you're going through chemotherapy and your blood tests aren't great, you might not be fit enough. Now, in an ideal world, we would biopsy every cancerous site to make sure what the receptors are, but it's just not possible in every patient. And that means your team often have to treat you based on the previous knowledge they have. And why is this important? Well, if your team think your cancer is ER positive, they will give you treatments for it, like tamoxifen and CDK inhibitors. But if the receptors have switched and it's now ER negative and HER2 positive, tamoxifen isn't going to work, your cancer is going to keep growing, and your team won't know that they should switch you over to Herceptin. And this is where the blood test comes in. So scientists at the Institute of Cancer Research in London presented groundbreaking research this week about a new blood test called the Breast Circulating Methylation Assay, or BCMA. So if you have recurrent breast cancer, then the cancer cells are shedding their DNA into your blood. The BCMA blood test looks for that circulating DNA and it uses machine learning to work out what receptor type the cancer is. ER, HER2, triple negative. Now it does this by looking for chemical tags on the DNA called methylation patterns and these correlate with each receptor type and they've tested it in patients in a trial and this is what they found. So they took 86 people living with metastatic breast cancer from five clinical trials. They took on average two blood samples from each patient and they were able to compare the results with previous tissue biopsies. Now, most patients had had two previous biopsies taken more than five years apart. So in 19% of the patients, or almost one in five of them, the receptor type had switched, like my apple becoming an orange. The blood test was accurate in 90% of patients compared to an actual tissue biopsy. So it's not perfect, but it's not far off. It also showed that in 30% of patients with HER2 negative disease, the blood test showed that there was actually HER2 positive DNA in the blood. And this links in with the research we're learning about HER2 low disease. So this blood test could help us work out which HER2 negative patients actually have HER2 positive DNA and may do well on drugs like Herceptin. So how does this benefit you? Well, it means your team would get results much faster and could switch your treatments faster, which can only be good news, especially if it's not safe to do a biopsy. Science really is incredible, isn't it? But 
We need to remember that this was just a small trial looking at a handful of patients. It needs to be repeated on a larger scale to make sure it's accurate. We also need to remember that at the moment it's not 100% accurate, so it might get the answer wrong, which could mean your treatment is switched when it didn't need to be. Now the test isn't available for you yet, and your own medical team won't know any more than I do. We need to wait for the results of the next trial. But it's so exciting to think that in a couple of years, this blood test could replace biopsies altogether for patients with metastatic breast cancer. And what's more, scientists at the Institute of Cancer Research hope they can trial this blood test for other tumours like lung and bowel cancer. If you want to learn more about the latest treatments in breast cancer, check out this video next. I'm Dr Liz, and thanks for watching.